This is module 15 of Mechanics of Materials part one. Today's learning outcomes are to define and discuss shear strain. Uh, earlier we talked about normal stress and normal strain. We've talked about shear stress, but now let's talk specifically about shear strain. We're gonna define Hooke's law for shear, and we're gonna relate the modulus of elasticity, which was for uh, normal stress strain, to the modulus of rigidity, which is gonna be the relationship between shear stress and shear strain. And so here's where we left off last time. We showed a 3D state of stress at a point, uh, and we looked at our member subjected just to shear stress, and we looked at just pure shear. And this is what the stress block looked like. And by equilibrium, we said that uh, the shear stress tau xy was equal to tau yx, or tau all the way around our, our stress element. And so now let's look at specifically shear strain, which is going to be a change in the angle uh, between the reference axis, or what we're going to call shear distortion or angular distortion. And so uh, here is a, here's a picture of shear strain. And let's go ahead and look at a demo. So here's our demo with a, a stress block shown on this uh, edge of this book. And I'm going to subject it to uh, a shear force uh, parallel to the cut surface. Okay, and we can sh see that we get an angular distortion or a, a shear type, what we're going to call shear strain. So here is a graphic of our shear strain. We saw when we applied uh, shear forces, which caused shear strain on our stress block, we got an angular distortion or a shear distortion. And we defined shear strain, which is again dimensionless, as this angle uh, alpha, gamma 1 and plus gamma 2. And so that's the definition of shear strain. Uh, we know that we start off with our stress block with a right angle here. So uh, if we call uh, uh, this angle beta, then the shear strain is equal to 90 degrees or pi over 2 minus beta. So for shear strain sign convention, uh, I've shown my stress block with a positive shear stress. On the positive x face, we have positive x direct, excuse me, positive y direction shear. Uh, and on the positive y face, we have positive x direction uh, shear stress. And so the positive sh uh, shear stress that's being applied causes positive shear strain where the angle is reduced on two positive or two negative faces, okay? So here's the positive faces, here's the negative faces, and that angle is reduced. And we also can look at Hooke's law uh, in shear, and it's valid again uh, for the linear elastic region on the stress-strain plot, which we talked about earlier. And what Hooke's law in shear states is that the shear stress tau is equal to g times the shear strain gamma. And G is defined as the modulus of rigidity, or the shear modulus. And this is completely analogous to Hooke's law that we saw before for normal stress strain, where sigma was equal to E epsilon. And in fact, uh, here's the Hooke's law for, for normal stress strain and Hooke's law for shear stress strain. Uh, there is actually a relationship between E and G. They're not independent, and I'm showing it here. Uh, we'll go ahead and actually de derive this uh, later in the course, this relationship between G, the modulus of rigidity, and E, the modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus. And that's where we'll leave off today and we'll pick up next module.